So I was uh, checking around town, and I found found a place in Hong Kong that sells the Happy Trail Oval Suite. And uh, yeah, it's not cheap. You're looking at around uh, 560 bucks. Uh, so let's put it all together and uh, tell you what I think. So now it's all done. It's pretty big. So this Happy Trail Oval, the new one, I think it's uh, better than the old one. The old, uh, I used to have a Happy Trail Deluxe. And um, this, one is, this one should be much easier to clean. And it looks nice. Hope my little friends like it, huh? So here's my old cage. The Sam uh, from uh, Plen Penplax. Probably about 10 years ago. Okay. Not a bad cage, but cleaning it. Uh, it's it's hell. Where are they? There they are. There's a gadget and a widget. So I see on the internet people asking if the old tubes from Happy Trail or uh, Sam fits on the new oval. Well, I can tell you, yes it does. So let me show you. So I've already taken the den out. I'm going to take this off. There you go. You asked if these rings, the new locking rings, uh, fit on the uh, old um, tubes. Yes, they do. A uh, bit tight, but still works. So, now I'm going to put the den right here. So there's Gadget and Widget exploring their new home. Yeah, they're um, Chinese hamsters. Small. I believe the tubes are a bit uh, thick for them. But it was, I found this oval and can't find the dwarf oval, so it'll have to be.
Yep. These two are too wide, so can you? Luckily, I had some extra tubes. Now they can climb up and down. You could uh, pick up some kind of souvenir and send it home. The really cool thing about these knives is they all have a story. I can just imagine this guy being in battle and taking one of these things after every victory. I think God is alive. So how much did you want? Well, you know, uh, I, you always help here with me. Uh, Fifteen hundred dollars is what I need. Well, let me check them I know for sure this is from a K98 Mauser. Two parts of a shape. Well, collectors of foreign bayonets is good condition. Antique bayonets are like antique guns. You want them to be original. And if you modify and change them, they can lose a lot of value. This is an older bayonet. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of an interesting one. It's got the tree saw thing at the top. It's got this uh, saw back on it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that one will fit on the mouth. Fighting it's over a piece of carrot. Standard weapon that the Germans use in World War II. Okay. This right here really concerns me. Uh, and I know some guys will do this in their garage at home, make it more useful, or make it more useful. If this was made in someone's garage, I think it would be Did he get it? Yeah, he did. Oh, yes, he did. And then this one, they obviously took a vein in of some kind, and uh, you know, broke off or something. Yeah. And the guy turned it into a knife, but I think it's cool. It's a good heavy knife. Yeah, it's a nice knife. Uh, the problem is with this is generally when they've been so modified like this, they're not really, really popular. Thank you. 